The movement of all radioactive materials is highly regulated. In Canada, responsibility is shared between Transport Canada, which administers the Transportation of Dangerous Goods Act, and the Canadian Nuclear Safety Commission, responsible for enforcing the Canadian Nuclear Safety Act. In some instances, additional provincial or territorial regulations apply. Transport Canada establishes and enforces transportation requirements for consigners and carriers. It also establishes and carries out compliance inspections for things like training and documentation. And the department sets and enforces requirements for emergency response assistance plans. The Canadian Nuclear Safety Commission sets the performance requirements for transportation packages. It certifies their designs. It also establishes and enforces the Radiation Protection Program for companies which carry radioactive materials. And it investigates in the event of a dangerous occurrence. In addition, the CNSC is responsible for all aspects of physical security measures. Sylvain Fay is the Director of the Transport Licensing and Strategic Support Division at the Canadian Nuclear Safety Commission. For a large quantity of radioactive materials, such as uh, used fuel, the uh, package needs to be certified by the Canadian Nuclear Safety Commission before it can be used to transport in Canada. And as part of that, the uh, requirements are that the package needs to be subjected to normal and accident condition of transport. And staff from the Canadian Nuclear Safety Commission will review the application to ensure that all the requirements of the relations are met before allowing the, uh, the package to be used in Canada. And in addition, for the uh, transport of uh, used fuel, there's a requirement to have a license to transport in order to cover the security aspect. And this needs to be approved also before allowing any shipment in Canada.